I swear to God, this story would be sad if it wasn't so funny, okay? Bam Margera is just the stupidest man in the world, and yeah, you might be able to say this guy is just like, you know, so far gone and so mentally ill, you gotta cut him some slack. Well, I'm here to not cut him any slack. The Bam Margera drama just keeps going, the drama just keeps getting worse, and today there have been some updates, and I'm gonna comment on them. Hey, how's it going? I'm your friendly neighborhood gatekeeper, Dan Frampton, and you might be thinking, hey, hey Dan, you, you seem a little bit you seem a little bit rude right now. Are you making fun of Bam Margera? Famous drug addict mentally ill Bam, Bam Margera? And yeah, yeah I am. This guy is insane. Now I've made a couple videos about Bam Margera on the channel. And if you want to go back and watch them, you should do it because that'll give you the full context. But if you're not totally up to date on what's been going on with Bam Margera, I will try to give you the Cliff Notes version. This guy is a total train wreck, okay? I'm going to pick up this story well after the MTV stuff, well after the Jackass stuff, well after the getting kicked off of Jackass stuff, okay? This story is going to pick up like around a month or so ago because I'm sure that you know who Bam Margera is. Famous skateboarder, famous MTV prankster, you're familiar with the guy. But around a month ago, all right, out in his castle, Castle Bam, he was found peeing in his own sink. But he doesn't necessarily have the rights to own Castle Bam right now because he's so far gone that his brother's living there and has like control or something. That drama is way too much. I have no idea. But anyway, Jesse Margera is Bam Margera's brother. And they got into a little bit of a fisticuffs on one morning where Bam Margera was peeing in the sink. And then that sent Bam running off into the woods. Nobody could find Bam. He then re-emerged. He re-emerged from the woods. He went and got a piss test. But everybody's debating that piss test saying that it was a completely fake piss test being like hey Jesse I'm clean and sober look at how clean and sober I am and all of this is because Bam just really wants his house back he just really wants to see his kid okay so during all of this drama there's this other YouTube channel called that surprise witness or BJ investigates and she totally took Bam Margera's side and totally enabled all of this behavior took him into the interview house softballed him some questions just gave him a platform to say his crazy ass stuff. Now, you gotta understand, I don't side with anybody in this story. This story is a complete pile of chaos. Everybody involved is like some of the worst human beings that you could possibly imagine that just go after each other's throat one minute and then support each other fakely in the next minute, okay? They're such phonies, clout hungry, fame monster phony balonies. So Bam is just like desperate to see his son and he sends out this like totally twisted like a uh, video on Instagram saying that he's just gonna smoke crack until he dies or you're gonna you're gonna give me access to my son. This was totally crazy behavior. Anybody that's taking Bam Margera away from that kid right now is making a smart choice because this guy is so unhinged. Claiming that he's just gonna do crack until he dies or you're gonna bring him the kid that's absolutely wild so anyway castle bam is in philadelphia and bam margera wants to go see his son in like california i think so he's ending up in california but when he gets to california he gets 51 50 people bring him into a psychiatric hospital and he loses his mind he gets out whatever no big deal after a couple hours and by a couple hours i mean a couple days and after he gets done with his 51 50 treatment he gets out and starts talking crazy shit on his baby mama and all of this is just twisted behavior behavior because in one moment he's claiming he really wants to see his son it's the only thing that's going to make him feel good bring phoenix to me he's like i'm going to be doing so many drugs unless you bring phoenix to me he means the most to me okay but then on the other hand all the people that are controlling that situation you know all the people that could be like all right you, you can see your kid uh, he's now like bullying them and calling them names in the press it doesn't seem like sane behavior that's coming from a rational human being and it's not he's totally absolutely 100 percent unhinged. Yes, he's certainly mentally ill, and he's certainly addicted to many different kinds of drugs. Alcohol, definitely. Speed, undoubtedly. There are claims of meth, you know what I mean? I'm not here to tell you what he's putting into his body every day, but he is addicted to whatever that is, and that is what's actually controlling his life. And as sad as that is, and as heartbreaking as those situations can be, Bam Margera is not making it easy for himself, not making it easy for the people in his life, and certainly not 
making it easy for his kid putting this all out in public like this. How does he think that this is smart or cool? It is not. If you really do care about your son, if you really do care about your family as much as you say you do, you would step back from the limelight, you would step back from the TMZ articles or whatever, you would chill out, you would get off the drugs, you would go ahead and do the rehab, and then maybe in a couple years, you could have a healthy relationship with your son. But it just seems like the partying lifestyle is something that you're not willing to give up. And yes, I know it might be hard to believe, but things that you're addicted to, you can give up. It takes a lot of work and a lot of help, and you gotta get a good support system around, but you can do it, Bam Margera, especially if you have a motivator so strong like seeing your damn son. So after he got done of his 5150, he was like, listen, you're right, absolutely, I will go to this recovery clinic, okay? So he goes to Odom Recovery Clinic, which is a clinic run by Lamar Odom over here, and here's Bam Margera with Lamar just walking around. He looks so friggin' silly, but he's got like this power walk stride going on. Like, oh man, okay, well he looks confident, he looks great, he looks like he's on en route to, to taking over his life. Well, no, he, he left, he totally just like ran away from, from the, the treatment center, and you know where he went? Not somewhere better, not somewhere to see his son, no, 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 he hooked up with his girlfriend and went to Los Vegas, okay? So instead of doing the hard work that it'll take to go out and see your son eventually, instead of sacrificing the addictions, the demons, the devils that, you know, inhabit your soul, Bam Margera, you went ahead and gave in to sin. You went ahead and gave in to temptation as soon as you possibly could, okay? You're pathetic, you're weak, you're a worm, you're stupid, you're absolutely everything that is wrong with the world. You're fat, you're lazy, you're unkempt, nobody in your life wants you around. And this lovely lady here is just obviously here because it is a little bit of clout for her. Clearly, there's no way that this person wants to be with this other person. It does not make sense to me. But here he is, gallivanting in Las Vegas, just trying to have the best time ever, leaving treatment to just go around and be a douchebag. And, you know, he's just seen smiling having the greatest time. There were paparazzi shots where he was like giving thumbs up and stuff. This guy's a total weasel. You can't believe anything he says. Anytime he's like, I'm gonna do my best to get better, you can't believe him. This behavior here is the kind of behavior that makes people go, no more sun for you, okay? And if we keep giving this idiot chance after chance after chance, then he's just gonna keep doing this kind of stuff and every chance that we give him just brings his son into the limelight even more unwillingly, and that's unfair. So if you're a fan of Bam Margera, and if you think I'm being a little bit too harsh right now, that's all fine, you can believe that. I know that, like being a fan of somebody and seeing them go through a hard time makes you wanna like root for them and rally behind them or whatever, but he's just failed chance after chance after chance, okay? It's just been over a decade of failed attempt after failed attempt, and we gotta be smart, and we gotta stop giving him the benefit of the doubt. Stop letting this crazy, former jackass skateboarding prankster gaslight you into thinking that he believes what he says, because he doesn't. He's absolutely unhinged, he's gonna take a whole bunch of drugs, then threaten his own life unless you provide him his son. What kind of ransom ass bullshit is that? It's a total fall from grace, right into the gutter, and once this guy runs out of money, it is over for him. There is no way that this guy can sustain this kind of lifestyle with zero De Niro. But anyway, you know I got Got my nose to the ground when it comes to this story. When there are updates, I will provide updates. This guy's going berserk and there's definitely gonna be further updates. Which is good for me and the channel, but I would rather talk about other things if it means that you and your son and your whole family are safe and happy, Bam Margera. And how stupid do you think that YouTuber BJ investigates that surprised witness feels after giving this guy a platform, believing him, letting him say these crazy things, and then seeing him go out and just like totally disregard that. You gotta feel like the wool's been pulled over your eyes. You gotta be losing some trust. You gotta be like, okay, you're Bam Margera and I'm just a YouTuber, but we gotta, we're, there's gotta be some separation here. And I would love nothing more than there to be no more updates here. Bam Margera just goes and locks himself into a rehab facility for 15 years. I don't, I don't predict that to be the case though, unfortunately. But thank you so much for choosing to spend some time here today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell if you're cool as hell. Leave a couple pancake emojis down there in the comments and until my next upload you can watch another upload